I am absolutely the most scared person to get up in front of people. And or I am shy. Where Aaron is so outgoing, let me tell you, his mom is just the opposite. So we very much compliment each other. And I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting us. You have no idea how how this feels. I mean, you, you each have your own stories. You each tell us your struggles and your successes and what you're doing. And maybe even a little bit about how this may help you. Oh my gosh, you don't know how it is to feel like you're supporting. I remember that when we first got involved in Mikasa. It was a stretch in our life. I know Aaron's told this side of the story, probably told you five or six different <laughs> sides of the story. <laughs> but let me tell you, it was something else. So he went off to school back years ago because of his time and the rest of his things and came back. Got involved in the logistics business, which gave him a background of what he was doing. But then he had some struggles, of course, in their life, and they had one little one. And an opportunity came our way to be able to do a container. So he didn't know how he was going to get that container to a person that needed to have it. And I said, you know what? I'll go. Now, I'm a single, well, at the time, Aaron's dad, by the way, passed away when my youngest one was just a baby, and Aaron's the second, to be honest. So that was one of the situations that we had with that. So, you know, raising the kids, everything else. I've been there. I know what you guys are going through. You know, it's great to be able to say, okay, you know, I, to me, I'd love to just walk in a grocery store and be able to buy what I like to buy and feed them. That doesn't mean all the junk. I just want to know that I've got enough in my bank account to be able to do that. I'd like to know that I can maybe do a little bit of driving around and be able to know that I have enough money to get gas from one location to the other and be able to support ourselves to be able to do it. So we've had that situation. And we're still going through that situation. So as we all are, trying to help our families, and you continue as you grow to help your families. It doesn't matter how old they are. So you know, we said, OK, we'll go ahead and we'll get this container and we'll put it together. And then wonderful Julie comes up. She's going to have twins. Oh my goodness. If that wasn't touching to us to know that we were going to have twins in the family, as well as having the other kids. Now, I know that we all struggle, and we had some really wonderful people in our family to support us. But then we got busy in doing some of the other things. We didn't know where we were going to go because of the struggles that we were having. And it just developed into this. And then we got a few more people on, and a few more people on. And then it developed into all of you guys. And our main focus is you. It's not necessarily the business. Yes, we want it to be strong. We want it to be able to do what we're going to do, but we want to be able to help all of you and to continue to help us to get to where we are. I know I talk to most of you every <coughs> now and again, and or see your families, and it's good to be able to put faces with things. Now, one thing I do want to tell you is I know how much you're all trying to learn Please, whatever you do, is honest without telling everything to our customers. What I mean by that is don't make up something. If you don't have an answer, just tell them we'll find you an answer. But we don't want to put them off either. One of the things, this business is a totally different creature. It really is. When I go into the grocery store and I buy something, sure, I see what I've got. These customers, see anything until they're out there. And I don't know about you, but they have a very difficult time. I don't want to pay the kind of money they're paying for a container, put it on my credit card, all up front, all from a company that I got off of a ad somewhere. Now, they've got to have some security behind that. So as much as you can do, even if you don't know the answers, give them all the security they need to have. And if they need to have an answer or a question right back, that's okay. You may not be able to get a hold of one of us. Give us a call, give your trainer a call, and we'll find an answer for you as soon as we possibly can. And yes, we do promise things, 
but we shouldn't be promising a ton of things. If we're told that we're supposed to get a container to between 7 to 10 days, or 7 to 14 days, or whatever else it is, you know, where we are in the country, make sure you're telling them this is our normal lead time. We'll do everything we can to get it to you as quickly as we can. Okay? It's just so we can make sure that you're doing that. That is a really big job to us. You know, we're trying to help and we're trying to do whatever we can. Now, another thing is I'm available. So if you can't get a hold of me at night and you give it a phone call or something like that, call back. <laughs> Leave me a message, do whatever you can, because uh, I'm will. I'm probably on the phone. So I'm doing most of the nights and weekend calls and things like that. And even if it's after time, I'll be glad to help. You guys all know there are several people out there that stare at computers, they don't know how to walk through, you're trying to walk through doing the things on the computer, and it's very difficult for them to want to do it. I don't want you to lose a cell because they're afraid of the computer, or they don't know how to do it. Give them a live person. There's a lot of people out there that just want to know there's a live person. And also, if you have to, and when not, make sure you're giving them the office phone number as well. If it's a, you know, if it seems right and it's the time for doing those things. Because I want to know if I'm calling them, that I'm not just calling someone out here. I want to have a corporate number. I want to have something else that's going on with that. Another thing I would like you to do, if possible, is know if you're on the phone and you're listening and you're, somebody's giving the credit card number and the other things that are there, that's a scary thing because they don't know who you are. They know corporate, and corporate, they really don't know who I am either. But I call up, and I would feel better because it's corporate, and I feel like it's secured, and all of that kind of stuff. So just be really careful with what you're doing, okay? You may want to say, okay, I'm going to hand this over to corporate. I mean, excuse myself, and back off. You know, I'm back out of the phone call. Because it's really difficult. That you do that. I'm not saying that you have to, I'm, at least yet. We're, we're trying to decide what needs to be done with that. I mean, there are a lot of places that they're calling up and then they're just have, wanting the customer to call if you have corporate. So here's the corporate number, call them and pay for it. Now, personally, I don't want you to lose a customer because there might be some of them that may or may not call back. They may want to get and do it online. They may have the other stuff that's there. Just know however they want to deal with this because you're working for all generations, okay? So we're trying to do the best we can in, in everything. And if you ever have a question, that's okay. Just ask your trainer, call us at the office of the okay. I'd love to continue to get to know faces and names and the rest of it. And, uh, gee, I'm so glad we're together. I really am. This is such a journey for all of us. So thank you for making the time and effort to come out here. That was a way big sacrifice on your part. I know that. So have a great day and enjoy your time with me.